Alternator Man here. I want to show you. This is a brand new 3G series alternator. This is a 200 amp unit. Uh, this is going to replace uh, the 1G series externally regulated alternator on a 89 Ford truck with a with a diesel in it. Um, he has the the 1G series large case externally regulated. A lot of different vehicles, vans, whatever they all use these. Uh, the old external regulated alter is not a very good alternator. This 1G or this 3G series is an excellent alternator to replace those. Uh, the only thing is, is the the 3G series has a built-in voltage regulator here in the back of the alternator, where the old 1G series had an external regulator. This will also replace the 2G series, which is the first uh, internal regulated one of the first internal regulated units that Ford had. The 1G series has two plugins. It's got a regulator plug-in. Then instead of the battery post on the 2G, they have a power plug. And the problem with those 2G series is instead of having a battery post, that power plug, uh, if you ever bought one of those alternators, they replace that power plug every time on those alternators. Because on the 2G series, the power plug will burn up. It's just got spade connectors that plug in. You can't run a bunch of amperage through a little spade connector they'll heat up so the 3g alternator is an excellent replacement for both the uh, 1g series and the 2g series like i said this is going on an 89 ford truck it ran a dual v-belt we can offer all kinds of different pulleys selections with these alternators uh, the other thing that is offered because if you're going from the external regulated unit to the internal regulated you need the wiring harness and we've got our our 92, it's part number 925606 combo wire plug. And in the description below, I'm going to have a, a link to both the 3G series alternator and this combo plug. What this combo plug does, now the 3G series has two plug-ins on it. One plug-in here, then a small little stator plug-in here. So all you do with this, this combo plug setup is you uh, plug this excuse me get it backwards here you plug this regulator in here and I'm not going to plug it all the way in then the second little plug gets plugged in down here in this other position then all you have to do is this little wire gets put on your main battery post on the back then all you have to have is one ignition wire uh, to activate this alternator and typically what you do is you pull the ignition wire off your old external regulator on the external regulated units with the regulator on the firewall those regulators also require an ignition wire to activate them so you pull that ignition wire you find the ignition wire it's hot with the key on dead with the key off you find the ignition wire on your old external regulator and bring that ignition wire over and connect it into this green wire and as i said you just you just put this on your battery post with your with your bat main battery wire that comes off here and hook this up to the ignition wire and away you go you're all set to to run the 3G series alternator with our combo plug like I said in the, in the description below we're going to have a link there will be a link to this combo plug plus a link to these 3G alternators uh, we can make we have them in uh, a, a 140 amp a 160 amp uh, 200 and 250 amp in the dual rectifier single and dual rectifier versions uh, but I'll put a link to it at the, in the description. It's a very, very good alternator, top quality, brand new. Please check it out.